Leeds City, make some fucking noise! Yeah. Yeah. What's going on, world? This is Don't Flop. As you know, Don't Flop all fucking day. We're here at Wardrobe, West Yorkshire, back in Leeds, 12 months on. Shouts to every single person in the crowd that was here to the test 10. Big up everyone that's come through to support this time as well. Shouts to all the staff in the building from the venue. Shouts to our staff as well. Bagnall, Kruger, Bentlegs, everybody else. Big up all the MCs turning up on time, keeping these events running. Uh, this is the two, sorry, £3,000 even two on two doubles tournament, man. Four events, finals in June, three grand goes to the win team 100 pound entry fee this is going to be absolutely hilarious another funny one day number two on the right hand side repping b-town south coast rum committee oh. gizmo and teasley let's go <laughs> Big up Seasling, and then he said TC, I mean Seasling, obviously. So. Right, and uh, on the left, two uh, relative newcomers compared to them as they've been in it for a while. Shouts to these two as well. Uh, doubles entrance, obviously. Shuffle T and Gibbo, make some noise. Yeah. Let's go. Uh, right. Yeah, Seaslin and Gib uh, Gib, Gib, I keep getting mixed up. Seaslin and G Gibbs Mo run the flip. Uh, they wanted uh, they wanted Shuffle T and Gibbon to go first. It's round number one of them. Let's go. Come on, let's go. So look who we've got here. Little old Long John Silver and Tracy Chapman from the South Coast. You should be used to rocky waters, but don't think you won't drown slow. Thinking this will be plain sailing? Nah, we're here to sink these clowns' boats and fuck your Spanish Armada gears, because 1588 just goes to prove that you, you should, should never, never doubt your foes. And round here, let's be honest, everyone's always loved an underdog. So whilst you've been down in beer, rum, a concoction of some other shots, chatting shit around your peers like, Kong! Of course we'll body these knobs! <laughs> We've been patiently plotting your downfall, like Danny Ocean did to Terry Benedict and then bunch of jobs. And you have got some awful schemes. Awful. You look like you've slept outdoors for weeks. Talk is cheap, but he's a dwarf, so he can actually engage in small talk for free. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's always talking breeze, because he can just about afford the fee. But, you, mate, I am taller than G, almost awkwardly. So why are you trying to get all raw with me? Bitch, just because you are four foot three does not mean you have the right to get short with me. <laughs> but with the midi thing, I really didn't want to go on for weeks, so ironically, this is one of my shorter schemes. And this <laughs> bitch... <laughs> yeah. And this bitch, Gizmo doesn't really need an intro, this animal likes to drink loads, is despised by his kinfolk, always hyping about his big flow and ciphering in lingo that makes about as much sense as a blind guy in Brighton trying to do the limbo whilst deciphering the whining of a hybrid wild dingo. Now it makes, the decision, it makes a sense of the decision of Sniper versus Gibbo. True. And I love that you think you're this brilliant rapper and yet spit in the style of William Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> Round cleaning, you know, checking spelling, capitalising proper nouns even. We were just about to go off and get on with that week and then that's when I realised we forgot about Seaslin! Mate, don't worry about Seas, he probably rings up Giz like, yo! Check this mad multi scheme. Yeah. Let's target Shuffle T and say how oh, he's a fucking geek. Sick. Every tune Gibber does, he talks about a cup of tea. Focus on how we're from the streets, the fact that Rumcon run the scene. Okay. Then you can get in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> then you can get in their faces and intimidate those bunch of neeks. Yeah, because in my accent it's much more gully sleeves. Add in a few <laughs> filler. <laughs> Add in a few filler lines about a standing rum and burning trees. Finish the first round and then just up, up and leave. leave. So you might have the right angles, but you don't think outside the box like me and Shuffle Bumba Clark T. <laughs> <laughs> you might think us a couple of squares, but with a pair that's here to cut your dreams. Your running stream ain't a match for the waves caused by our ugly sea, so fuck a train ride home because the shipwreck of a double team will hit the rocks and wash the shore on Brighton fucking, fucking beach. beach. <laughs> ah. Shuffle T. You're, you're a, a fucking neek. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't a bumba club, you're a bumba queef. <laughs> Every time these suckers speak, all these motherfuckers see us tumbleweed. Mm -hmm. You're about as fun to me as lung disease. Or <laughs> them fucking teens that cut and bleed just because they found out Justin Biebs was puffing weed. <laughs> <laughs> and you know why you do the pathetic? 
Tell Because you do hallucinogenics and then puke in your brethren. We've just started and you're already doing my head in. You some damp squibs. Gibbs' mother only had him because she wiped her rank minge with a napkin that his dad did a wanking. <laughs> and Gibbs, what's your problem with Arsenal fans, you fucking punani fast? Yes! I tell they're gonna shoot like I'm arson and they aim at targets that are large and whack. Mm. So you can suck your margin, dad. Brothers, sisters aren't a nan. Cause you aren't the man. I'm a Dan Gargan that's gonna slam dunk these bitches like Joanna man. Let's go, see. See, you are some twats. I'm dedicated. You whack nicks forever hated. I put a bet on myself and Ladbrokes go collect the papers so I can come put a smile on these Leeds fans' faces like Bradford got relegated. Oi. I'm devastating. You ain't impressive. I'll put the cross on your head when I spray the weapon and show Gibbo why he deserves more caps than David Beckham. Mm. See, you're straight depressing now. You got nothing in your shitty life, bro. You know how I know that? How? He got his battle record on his Twitter bio. <laughs> Yo, you need to come off the whack shit. You both only had three battles in action. You need to stop getting ahead of yourselves. Marilyn Manson. Wait, three one, three one. I said you need to stop. I said you need to stop getting ahead of yourselves. Marilyn Manson. See, you know these multis ain't shit. We can use many different rapping techniques to burn you. Your mum's here, she loved me, she touched me and hugged me and trust me, she want the internals. And then you do with this similar shit. If I'm wrong, just put me right. Cause your pen game's like a fat chick's Facebook status. You can only write if you look for like. Yeah. See, we, need, we don't need no literature to reiterate the situation. The ritual you titties play with isn't originating this repetition. So we hit them with a little bit of an alliteration like... Jeez, kiss, let me go in. Go in! You're yeah, yeah. but that nigga's got the flabbiger slabbiger. Mm. And I've never seen another fan of this crabbiger. Saggy, a cavernous, and it's a hazard, but this maga rapper's still happily shagging her. <laughs> See, one round and we already dropped these two. I don't know who this Tard is, but this Tard has got the swag like Doctor Who. Mm. <laughs> Plus, mm. we're already the freaking winners. I don't know why you turn up to the battle in your little sister's winkle pickers. <laughs> you said my girlfriend has crabs, but yours is actually worse. But she's a prostitute who clearly does some charity work. <laughs> 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 and you talked about tissues, but you only ejaculate into women's tissues. You don't use Kleenex man size because you think they have commitment issues. <laughs> <laughs> now from the first verse, you saw both their confidence leak. But the doors are snapped down, you're trapped now, no option to leave. Because when Shuffle and Gibbo step once more onto the breach, we slit throats and gizmos, esophagus bleeds. Mm. And your tenor penny, you're already sounding common to me. Your strong punches don't land, you're just obnoxious and weak. So thinking your winning is comical, you're off of your tree, you can't take what's in store like an incompetent thief. Mm. Mm. You're so arrogant. Why are you bopping round like you're heaven sent? One of those wankers talks about themselves in the third person, in the present tense. Your Birmingham's worth isn't deserving to be in this tournament, and that's evident from the fact that every bar you spit, just adds to your mate's detriment. So why, why are you so cocky? Why are you so, so sure of yourself? yourself? You'd be a fucking nobody if you weren't securing his help. Seasoning with no posse yes. doesn't perform quite as well. Your rum comes pop it on remand using those taut strings as bail. And your rizzle battle's weak, and it seems you're something of an attention whore. Thought you rap with heat, but actually that's nothing but an event no more. So naturally that's gas to me, no upswing in your percentage score is sad for seas, but that defeats the one thing you'll be remembered for. Mm. Mm. And who remembers that film Gremlins? I bet you do, Giz. For our younger viewers that haven't seen it, go check YouTube, Giz. Set in December. Man buys his son an unusual gift. They call it Gizmo. Think their new pet is the cutest thing. Aww. And he starts multiplying. His mates become Aggie and Vile. I know you can see where this is going, Gary. Don't stand in denial. <laughs> look, at this, look at this cheeky chappy. You're a good kid. You don't need to pretend to be savage and wild just because Seize is the closest thing to a friend you've had and in a while. while. <laughs> and thinking of that film reminds me of a run committee CD. Why? Spielberg's in charge, so the production's on point with sick beats. But it's full of artificial intelligence similar to E.T. E. Your crew needs to change shape like a transformer and get rid of TC. You've just ridden your war horse into the jaws of something evil. Start a duel with this band of brothers like we wrote a fucking sequel. You're in no man's land. Like private line, Ryan at the terminal with nowhere to leave to. So let this war of the words give you a close encounter with the floor that's underneath you. Time. You said I lost the rizzle kick. Doesn't take a quantum physicist to watch the video, bit, you prick. All eyes on me is one of Tupac's greatest albums. Mm. Presented on a double disc. Yes. 
All ears on me is Gibbo's album. And it's fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> See, me and Seedlin had a listen. No, we didn't. <laughs> but either way, either way, it had us dying. All ears on me? Judging by the size of them fucking lug holes, you wasn't lying. <laughs> All ears on me. Live the life of a thug wigger until the day I die. Live the life of a thug player on Xbox Live. So much trouble in the world, you both. Ain't nobody feel your pain. <laughs> oh, See, that's embarrassing. While we're on them pack comparisons, you two got about as much presence as that fucking stupid Coachella hologram of him. Mm. Uh. See, that's the thing we're battling. I have to win. Mm. I'm a motherfucking champion that's about to take the stacks with gears and back these pricks. Mm. See, I have my shit. Mum and dad just split. Old man diagnosed with that cancer shit. So if you maggots think you can catch a win, mm. I'll smack your chins until you're dribbling more than a spastic kid on an acid trip. Oh. See, this man is giz. I'm the only one guy in ham here. I heard you two pussyos are from Hampshire. So the chances of you going ham? Shit! <laughs> and this motherfucker's from Aldershot. But well, fuck Aldershot. We're to the pubs and drink off all the shots. Mm. You selling stuff? We're coming through and taking all the shots. All the shots are popping, you gonna make the fool and drop? Because if you saw us up in all, all the shots, I'm sure that you would call the cops. Hey. And this foolish cock thinks he's got swell bars. <laughs> Hell nah. You're more pathetic than a girl's fart. I saw your first <laughs> I watched your first battle on Elsyard in the head and nigga wanted self-harm. <laughs> you thought you took it well far against RS, that oriental dude, but you didn't move of class. He had to beat in the Chinatown way, because he only had noodle bars. <laughs> See, this dude's a tart. You're whack at spitting. Everybody knows that the biggest thing about your clash with Liquid was that fat chick sat with villain. <laughs> <laughs> Magic tricks are posy pillars, not to so it's so suspicious. Only trick I knows your missus, or the one that make your nose go missing. Woo! And any hopes of winning? You must be dumb. Me and Gizmo are bought the sweet rum. You're like energy drinks, the 35p ones. <laughs> <laughs> so you ain't MC, son, so this just can't result to glory. Every bar you spit is like a car park prick. It's just another boring multi story. Yeah, yeah. Say it again. Say it again. Slow it down. Speed it up. Hey, check it. Fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I feel gonna feel some grip again. I feel a little impatience. But wait. Your t-shirt's right, you only succeed in imitation. Woo! Yo, 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 yo. This one's for O'Shea. It's mum joke time. <laughs> Your mum's jokes time. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. Yo, Yo quiet down. In your entire back catalogue, you got like three hot, nice schemes. G's got height freeze. See what I mean? This place is over 14s. He got ID. <laughs> you said Pedro has a relevant bars. What? Did I hear that right? That's like me saying you've got a big nose. It's not near mine size. From you, I've heard no intelligent quotes, just generic lines. People in glass houses shouldn't throw stones, they'll end up dead inside. And you'll tell from the comments that come after these events that this pathetic team will never see a party feature then. So Rum Committee isn't the best name for your retarded league of men, you should probably call yourself the Bacardi Breezer Friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What? I forgot to do my intro properly. Fuck's sake. I'll destroy this slim slow oddity. Mm. Make sure he doesn't come back, no returns with his policy, cause getting bodied isn't covered in Gizmo's warranty. Fuck you! I'm more interested in this guy beside you, Giz, Mr. Mum Jokes. Yes, we all fucking know what time it is. You'll get inside to specify how wet and wide a vagina is, but how about breaking down the person that you're trying to diss? Oh. Tell me how it fits in a truck and a jet. A old gash is so massive that it's up with the best. It is the size of a whale, it is cut up into shreds. She gave birth to a beast, what the fuck you expect? Yeah. <laughs> Oh my <laughs> and my voice didn't crack. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, we got a couple of vets within our presence. Right. 
Yeah. That's the parody that'll make me speak with anger in a sentence. Uh. These are the man to beat to progress and see the cash in our hands possession. Excuse my French, but we're the ones handing out a fucking language lesson. You think with Caesar's laid back steez and gives with his damn aggression, they'd be able to combine techniques and with ease be handling weapons. It's sad to see these two MCs be so candidly handed the message. It's time to leave. I'm sure I'll give you a good character reference. <laughs> see, this should have been a walk in the park for you. Geeks. 40 yard pass to RVP, but thinking about it, your biggest battle was getting bodied by Rizzle. Fair play, son, you did beat. What's the name of that game again? Type Z. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a water pistol against returning fire from an RPG. This is what happens when the vets get put down by wild dogs that aren't on leads. Third round over. You're stinking of defeat. We could have been winning this with three. Just thinking on our three. But now you're out the competition. The committee isn't pleased. You just put rum in, in a, a bag like we're drinking in the streets. Oh. <laughs> You ain't hard with raps. In your last round, you're talking about Bacardi, man. Well, guess what? My gang stay on the bottle like Bacardi bats. Mm. Mm. And Ben Gibbons, you ain't fresh with it. When you fill out your online dating application and they ask what sex you're interested in, you don't press women. That's because you don't. That's because you don't press women. And the reason you don't impress women is because you like men, innit? <laughs> so you're some next pillocks, or just a loser that spits. I can't tell if this dude is a fan of Scroobius Pip or a fucking other groupie of grists. Wow. Wait, yeah. no! wait, 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 no! groupie ain't the right word. Nah, nah, but how Mark raps is how you'd love to do. That's the reason I can't fuck with you. Cause you're trying to be that teacher, but you act more like a substitute. Ooh. Run the school then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but today it's like I didn't concentrate in my class. Cause I'm stood in front of these pricks screaming F that. We didn't get the right mark. Mm. And you ain't got a slight chance. No. Not against them seasiders. Coming to our hotel? Or you seasiders. I'm oh. dead in these people. Oh. Like Resident Evil. Cause a win? Ain't certain you're gonna see virus. Oh. I'm in oh. oh. And when you're being branched, she keep quiet. We do it like Django, motherfucker! Just the D is hey. yeah. <laughs> Seeing if he tries it, I'm raising the stakes that the climate is. One hit to the face, send this given to space, just like a Iranian scientist. Hey. Hey. Yo, yo, hold on a second, bro. Have you seen the size of this? <laughs> With that fucking gap in his forehead. Yeah, bro, it looks like a vortex. <laughs> Even that. Oh, the doctor squeezed a little hard when he pulled him out of mama's pussy with them forceps. <laughs> Poor Ben. <laughs> you think you're winning it? Incorrect. I seen you two on the internet. On the indirect, trying to mock the street culture? That's disrespect. Because if I go outside this event and see the silhouette of Bill and Ted, we kill him. <laughs> more shots than 50 cents. Because when Ted Logan gets his head stoned in, Feds close it. Instant death. <laughs> You'll be left twitching by the riverbed without a freaking head or a single breath left in your skinny little pigeon chest. Yo, 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 yo. Tactics heavy like Machiavelli. Mm. You two looking more out of place than Balotelli's Camo Bentley. Parked outside of Manny Delhi. And see, they ain't ready, we take aim steadily, leaving your life in great grave jeopardy. I ain't Craig, but your dame stay belling me. We get the key to your Cherokee, and whilst Gizzy in the front doing 70, I'll be getting brains in the back. Get out, JF Kennedy. Oh, shit. Testing me with them punches, I'm Lenny McLean, and you're just a magician's assistant, bitch, Debbie McGee. Woo! And get head of your and go to bed with your mother. You two are such homosexual suckers that if I saw them in half, all of the past would try and have sex with each other. <laughs> you're exceptionally good. Alright, check it. <laughs> Suede patches, gay faggot. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, it's Villain, follow me on Twitter at VillainLDN. I just watched Gizmo and Season versus Shuffle T and Gibbo. Um, it was really, it was actually a really close battle. It was closer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. Um, I'll break it down this way. I, was, I gave it 2 1 to Gizmo and Seasoning. It was pretty hard for me, to be honest. Um, uh, let me break down though. The first, the first round was pretty much. I'll say Seasoning and Gizmo didn't win the first one. They lost, they lost the first round, but like Shuffle T, they, Shuffle T, with Gibbo and Shuffle T, um, Gibbo didn't have much of the punchlines in the whole battle, so with um, it was mostly Shuffle T just doing most of the like big things and Gibbo was just there. 
so, so they didn't work as good as a team. Um, that's what really decided it for me. Um, Shuffle t so the first round, um, Shuffle T had that. The William Shatner line, the generic short stuff was it was generic, but it was funny at the same time. Uh, he had the hip, the rocks, the Brighton Beach one at the end. Uh, then Giz Gizmo, what ah the impression? Sorry, the impression about between Gizmo and Seasoning that was really funny as well. The phone call and all that. But then like when they did the fucking knee um, shuffle tea scheme as well. Then she's Seasoning and Gibbo, uh, Shark Seasoning and Gizmo. Giz Gizmo, I'm sound, sounding like uh, <laughs> um, Shark Seasoning and Gizmo started off with that same thing, like the queefs, the shuffle tea. I don't know if it was a free or whatever, but I thought it was typical. It was basic. Um, then they had that uh. The Gerardo Man line, the battle record on your Twitter bio. No one should do that ever. Don't put your battle record on your Twitter bio ever. But like, yeah. But I'll give that one. I'll give that round just to sh Shuffle T and give give Gibbo based on Shuffle T though. <laughs> um, Gibbo really did do much in that round. Then the second and third were definitely Gizmos and uh, Seaslins. But the second round went like Shuffle T had that nice flip. Um, the charity work flip about his girl. Uh, then the commitment issues flip as well. That was nice. Then the incompetent thief line, the Spielberg scheme, the run committee stuff, like the CD stuff. But then Gibbo, again, Gibbo didn't really do much in that round again. Uh, then Gizmo came back with that all eyes on me, all ears on me. Like some of it wasn't effective, but then when they started singing, it was kind of funny. Um, then they had that fat ship with villain. Fuck you, firstly. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend, so I put off as well. Um, <laughs> Then he had a multi storyline, and what really took the round for me was the end when Season dropped that um, mum joke, it's mum joke time, your mum's joke's time. <laughs> that killed it for me, man. Um, so yeah, they took that round, and then the third round was just Shuffle T and Season, a giver didn't have enough again. They had that run, uh, what, rum in the bag clothes, that was good. The birth to, the birth to a beast stuff was hard. Um, the Bacardi Breezer was alright, then the dead inside glass line by Gibbo that no one caught because he didn't deliver it right again. Um, but then, yeah, Seasoning and Giz 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 Gizmo came back in that. They killed it. The Scroobius Pip stuff, stuff. The Mark Gris line, the Resident Evil one, Vortex Forehead, Balotelli out of place, blah, 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 blah. Debbie McGee. And then the Sway Patch is free at the end, just killed it. So, yeah, 2 1 to Gizmo and um, Seasoning, man. But what, as, what I say about Shuffle T and Gibbo, like. As a team, as a two on two, you're meant to come together. Like it's, it was just like shuffle tea on his own, and so yeah, so yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. What's up, hundred bullets? Follow me on Twitter. Uh, twittercom slash bullets. That's with a Z. Anyways, let's get right down to it. Seaslin and Gizmo versus uh, Gibbo and Shuffle T. First round, I gave it to Gibbo and Shuffle T. I thought uh, they had really good teamwork. I felt they, you know, they blended real well. Nice chemistry. Uh, they had the dwarf scheme, the whole everything that started with dwarf small talk, afford the fee, all leading up to uh, shorter schemes. That was all nice. You know, right to get short with me. That was all nice. Uh, brilliant rapper William Shatner, nice. The whole b talking on the phone back and forth. That was nice. Like I said, good um, chemistry in that first round. From Gizmo and Seaslin, they had a they had nice uh, their first punch or joke scheme that they had was nice. Uh, Juana man, uh, the head up yourself. It was nice. It was nice, but didn't just say it twice. To be honest, the whole head of yourself, just say it once. That was it. That was a nice punchline. That was not a slow down. I'm just saying. Uh, gave round one to Shuffle T and Gibbo. Round two, I gave it to Seaslin and Gizmo. The, the all eyes on me, all ears on me, singing parody thing. The Hampshire. Um, all the shots, all the shot. That was all nice. Um, all that was nice. Uh, I felt the first round was close, but it went to Shuffle Team Gibbo. I felt the second round was close, but it went to Gizmo and Seaslin. I did like um, Gibbo uh, and, and Shuffle Team like that. The the two nice flips that started off the second round, but for the most part, I think the second round went to Gizmo and Seaslin. Third round was the only round where I felt was clear, cut, and that easy. And that was Seaslin and... Uh, and Gizmo, they just schemes and punches and schemes and punches uh, gave birth to a beast. It was nice uh, teacher substitute F that Mark Gris. That, or we can get the right Mark F that, like you know the whole Gris scheme. Um, energy. Uh, let's see. Uh, Resident Evil C virus something Django. Uh, the D silent. That was all nice. 
Basically, the third round was the strongest round of the whole battle. And I think that C's Lynn and uh, Gizmo kind of topped it off real nice. Um, only thing was that, that crazy John Kennedy died line. That was nice. Brains in the back or brains in the ride like when John Kennedy died. I did hear that one. Not to say anybody, nobody bit. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of lines. But yeah, that one I had heard before. But it was still a great line. You know, it is what it is. At the end of the day, I give it two to one for Gizmo and Seasoning. Uh, good battle. Unless, aka, don't flop's greatest judge ever. Sorry, MA and whoever else is vying for that title. Um, I just got finished watching one of these two on two battles a Shuffle T and Gibbo versus Seasoning and Gizmo. I saw whoever planned these matches was getting all clever with the similarly named. G-I, two consonants, and then an O, you know, the similarities between those names, but uh, that was quite confusing. I could tell Ur got a little confused with the names, and I myself, I don't know these guys as well, so I was very confused, but anyway, we got through it somehow. That's what makes me the world's best judge. So uh, I gave that battle, uh, all three rounds actually, to uh, Seasonin and Gizmo. Um, it was actually quite close. I saw in the battle there were some comments about how Season and Gizmo are, you know, veterans and Shuffle T and Gibbo are fairly new to the scene. Uh, I actually haven't seen uh, much footage from any of them, but uh, it, it was pretty clear to me that that uh, Season and Gizmo were a bit more seasoned. Uh, excuse the not so clever alliteration. Um, so the first round I gave 10 to 9. Um, they had the cut for Bieber line, the head of myself like Marilyn Manson line, and I thought they did a really clever, like, we could beat you with any style thing, and, and did, you know, the internal structure and the alliteration and all that stuff, so, uh, that was clever, I liked it. Uh, the next round, um, I thought Shuffle T had some great flips, the, the women's issues, commitment issues, the women's tissue, uh, commitment issues thing, and the prostitute for charity work, I thought those were really good. Um, but again, ever so slightly, I gave this one 10 to 9.5 for Seasoning and Gizmo again. And then in the third round, uh, Seasoning and Gizmo started to pull away a little bit more. And, uh, and I gave that one 10 to 8 for them. Um, as I mentioned, I, I kind of felt like, uh, the, the, the veterans experience was, uh, evident in this battle. The angles that they were choosing resonated better with the audience. You could tell they'd kind of, you know, performed to them a few more times. Um, it was almost as if, uh, Shuffle T and Gibbo had practiced too much, like they, they didn't, it's one thing to memorize your lines, it's another thing to memorize them so well that you're almost just performing the, st the structure and you're no longer, like, excited by the freshness of the lines. I find that's something I've done a few times where, uh, where there's almost a benefit, there, there's some, like, spontaneity and energy that, that, uh, comes in performing lines that you, you don't have completely back and forward memorized, you're still kind of, and, and that way you're not sick of them, they're still impressing you. So I think they just have a little bit uh, a little bit more refining their performance and that kind of stuff. I actually thought um, Shuffle T was one of the more, was probably the most interesting in the battle. He had some really good lines, uh, his, his presence was unique, and he, he had uh, some really interesting angles, and his flips were really strong. Uh, but um, he still just got, you know, their team just got overpowered by the experience and the consistency of, of Seasoning and Gizmo. So uh, great battle, really close. Uh, I'd like to see all these guys again. And uh, rap music. Yo, Flex Digits, Prison Planet. Um, I'm judging Shuffle T and Gibbo Gabbo, I don't know. Versus Seasoning and Gizmo. Um, first round was the closest. Um, I felt that Seasoning and Gizmo worked a lot better as a team. Shuffle T and Gabo, as singular battlers, probably sick, but I just felt that they didn't sort of have as much chemistry as Gizmo and TC. Gizmo and TC, you know, um, both in the same crew together, you know, they probably have more time to sort of prep between them, which is fair enough. Um, second round, once again, I gave it to um, Season and Gizmo. Um, nice ender with the mum joke time. Mum joke time, that, that made me laugh. That was sick. Um, Shuffle and Gibbo 
like once again it was it was a, sort of the same situation. They didn't have as much chemistry. I didn't feel as as Seasland and Gizmo. Uh, and the third round, um, I mean, I think the best round of the, the battle was was with Seasland and Gizmo, and that's why I gave that to them also. Um, I think it was just a case of them working better as a team, uh, more chemistry, harder hitting punches, um, and the fact that Shuffle and Gibbo, the styles were too different for it to really work together, sort of thing. So, yeah, nothing against them as individuals, rappers. I just felt like they didn't work as well as a team together. Um, should they have had different partners, it might have, you know, we might have seen something different. But like I say, um, that, that's the thing with two on twos and the, 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 the unique sense that you do have to be able to work together as a team. And I just felt like Seaslin uh, and Gizmo uh, did that the best. So, three rounds to n um, none, yeah. Gizmo and Seasling. Yo, it's your boy MA. We out here, I'm judging Shuffle TE Gibbo versus Gizmo Seasling. Giving this one to Gizmo and Seasling, I thought he killed it. I thought uh, Seasling's JF Kennedy line in the, well, the whole, the whole build up, the whole scheme in the third round was like dope. His, uh, the renders in the second round, the, uh, your mum's jokes time. Yo, they killed it. Big up Shuffle T and Gibbo. Um, Shuffle T was nice. He had that, you know, uh, she gave birth to a beast. What, what the F you expect? You know, that was tight, but this wasn't really enough. Um, yeah, nah, uh, big him up. Gizmo season. Peace. Yo, Lee City, make some fucking noise! Yeah. Yeah.